kids. Uh, this is Mark Watney, astronaut. Um, we're about six hours before our launch here on the Hermes, and I've been asked by the good folks at NASA to introduce you to some of our crewmates here, uh, which I'm happy to do. Hi there, I am Commander Melissa Lewis. Hello, Commander. Big year ahead. Maybe you could tell us what inspired you to take it all on. Uh, sure. Laura Clark, Chris McAuliffe, and, uh, of course, Eileen Collins. And you're not going to get a better answer than that. It was incredible meeting all those people. Uh, and then meeting Tracy in Houston, it was fantastic because not only did I get to learn the technical stuff, but also I wanted more of the human element because you know, as, we, we, astronauts are heroes, in my opinion. They're, and in most people's opinion, they're heroes. They're a great, they're a great explorers. And um, to have a face and a person um, to that, those heroic deeds, it was really important for me. And like, what did you guys talk about when you were at JSC? Did you talk about like the look and feel of space? It was um, a combination of technical questions and then, like Jessica said, at the human side, you know, what was it like being a human up there? And, and everything from what do you wear to what do you eat to, I noticed you're wearing a wedding ring and it was really touching for me to, to have her notice that and then to want to incorporate that because uh, your character's married mm -hmm. and to, um, to honor that. Um, is really important because as astronauts, as we travel, um, you know, near and far for long periods of time, you know, we want to bring pieces of our family with us to make the environment right. as normal as possible, even though your crew becomes part of your family. The film is very steeped in, in science fact and it really was really trying to get it right. Did you have this feeling on set that there was this sort of pervasive feeling that people were trying to be true to the science about it and trying to be real? Yeah, I mean, it always resonates if I'm playing a character, I want to do things as authentically as possible. So, absolutely. I, the, we wore very heavy space. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's authentic. That's something that I would have been very happy that we had not worn um, heavy yeah. space because we were not in zero gravity. But, yeah. I mean, we had a lot of, there are things, you know, when, when you're faking things like zero gravity that you have to do that, um, you know, and try to make it as authentic as possible. Like being on wires and knowing that like you have to make all the movement look like it's coming from you and you're pushing off, but you can't really push off too much because you're on wires and then you'll swing. So there was a lot of, um, and even like getting in and out of the chairs and how the seatbelts would be fastened. And um, I know that Ridley has a huge team that, that was on it to make sure we could make it as authentic as possible. And then also in terms of Mars exploration, I think this book is going to plant the seed into the popular culture to sort of think about, you know, sending humans to Mars in the 2030s, which is, runs completely parallel with what NASA is doing and, and planning. Do you think that that film is a really important medium to get across to people to sort of inspire them about things like space exploration. I mean, it's the question of what came first, chicken or the egg. I mean, we have had Gravity, Interstellar, and The Martian, and a lot of films about space exploration come out recently. And I don't know if that's because the directors and the writers are suddenly interested in space. Part of me wonders if that's actually because an audience is hungry for these stories. And if that is the case, it means we as a society, as a group, are hungry for space exploration. I know that Commander Lewis is such a wonderful protagonist and also a role model for women. And Tracy, you're also a role model for women by what you've achieved in space. So what do you think this film will do in terms of inspiring women in the future to maybe explore doing careers in science, engineering, mathematics, everything that's involved with space exploration or exploring? Oh, well, I, you know, I can't wait to see the rest of the film because I think uh, Jessica does a great job of uh, portraying, uh, you know, a strong feminine presence um, and amongst, um, you know, a group of people in a tough situation. And I think that it's going to, to, to help inspire uh, our, our young ladies, you know, and not, not just our young ladies, but our, our, our young people of today, because th that age are the ones that are going to be the ones landing on Mars for mm -hmm. us. And so I think it, it, uh, it speaks volumes to, to any kid watching, um, but for the gals especially, that, that may be, um, you know, wondering if they could do something like that, uh, I do think that it's going to, to act as an inspiration to them to, uh, to at least follow through with that curiosity.